Hey guys, welcome back to Mummy Monday. Today I am doing a video, oh my goodness, you're so cute, on my other children. So some of you may not have known this or may not know this, but I actually have six other children who I did not give birth to. <laughs> I adopted them, well, kind of, technically. Technically I only adopted two of them and then I helped deliver four of them. So I thought I would introduce you to all six of them because there are quite a lot and talk a little bit about each of their personalities. So number one, of course, is Albie. He was my first dog, my first puppy, and he and I have a love-hate relationship, I have to say. We, don't, we do not have one of those plain sailing relationships and Although I say that he's my first, he was my first dog, I bought him with Jonathan, but he bonded with Jonathan. Like, he did not bond with me. <laughs> it's just like, it did not happen. And I was really sad that it didn't happen because obviously I was the one that wanted to get, we both wanted to get a puppy, but I was the one that really wanted one, like, of my own all my life. Like, I've always been a dog lover and I was never allowed to have a dog growing up. We always had cats and I've always been obsessed with them. Like I had posters in my room of dogs and like all the different dog breeds. And then finally, I was 21, I think. Yeah, 21 and Jonathan and I were living in London at the time and we decided we would get a puppy. And this was supposed to be like my, my pet, you know? And he is my pet, but he is just a daddy's boy. Like he, Jonathan is, they say that a dog picks a master and only one master. and. Jonathan is hands down his master, like he just respects him so much. Albie has bitten me before. He can be quite naughty. He's quite spoilt. He's probably the least well behaved of all of our dogs, at least around other people. Yeah, he's just not very socialized. Albie is six now and he is a Maltese. They're all Maltese. Um, he came with papers. We bought him from a kennel club breeder. He lost his eye when he was six months old. His eye was scratched out by a cat. It was actually one of my mom's cats that Jonathan and I had bought for her. And I think he got jealous. And at first, we thought we were going to be able to keep the eye and then it developed glaucoma and it would just make more sense to remove it. And ever since it's been removed, he has been so much happier. He has his fair share of issues though. He has got teeth removed as well because <laughs> he just has issues. <laughs> you would think that you get like, you pay, I think we paid like 1200 pounds for him, which back in the day was like a lot of money. I know it's only six years ago, but that was like 2009 at, in the height of the recession. 1200 pounds is a lot of money. Anyway, like <laughs> either way. But yeah, for some, for a dog that costs that amount of money, he has a lot of issues in life. You always know who Albie is because, well, he only has one eye and also he has a dark blue bow. Um, he does not like walks, actually. He's not into the walks. He much prefers to just stay at home and not get his feet dirty. And he's quite prissy like that. So he's obsessed with Jonathan. He just wants to be in Jonathan's study like all day long. This is Sina. <laughs> She's a lot less pliable than Albie. Albie's one of those dogs that you can just like put in your handbag or do whatever you want with them, you know, that kind of way. But Sina just wants to be like out on a walk somewhere. So she's not that, <laughs> well, no, she's not. It's not that she's not happy. She's just like, what's going on? I'm freaking out. So this is Sina and she is my doggy. And if any, if I had to pick a favorite, I would have to pick Sina. I know some people are gonna think that's really mean to pick favorites of my doggy children, but Sina has to be my favorite because she is like my dog. So after we got Albie, about a year later, or maybe over a year later, we got Sina. And Sina is four years old, I think. Yeah, she's gonna be five this year. So she's four years old. She's Purebred Maltese, but I think there's a little bit of Bichon or something like down the line <laughs> in there. Maybe like one of her grandparents is a Bichon or something because she's got long legs and she's a little bit bigger too. She's bigger than Albie. So you know who Sina is because she always has a purple or lavender bow. Oh, you're so cute. And she bonded with me instantly. So we got her as a companion for Albie 
and she is my puppy like she was only eight weeks when we got her which is probably still a little bit too small and I think she just bonded with me because she missed her mummy and I was like her other mummy like her new mummy and she would cry whenever I left her and she was just such a little sweetie it's on the vlogs actually she is so well behaved so nice she's really greedy though she loves her food she just loves going for walks getting dirty rolling in stuff she's just a dog dog like she's not like a prissy little dog she's like a proper dog she's got such a good temperament she's got such a good temperament she would not growl or bite or snap at anybody like you would have to really push her and even then she wouldn't do it she's just such a good dog so she often is a pushover like she will do anything for her puppies anything for Albie she really misses Albie when he's not here obviously if I hadn't mentioned it before she is the mother of the four puppies she does have one little issue that is if there are a lot of people in the house or even like just new people or more people than normal she freaks out and she kind of like shivers and hides under either the dishwasher or the toilet or one of the chairs up in our bedroom. It's really strange. <laughs> That's Sina and she is cute and I love her. Mwah. This little boy here is Theo, Theodore. He was the only boy of the litter of pups that Sina had. So she actually had four girls and one boy. One of the girls died. Minnie, she was the runt, sorry I'm out of breath because I ran up the flight of stairs. <sighs> she was the runt of the litter and poor thing, she was really small and she had, I think she had a hole in her heart and she died when she was three weeks old but she was a lot smaller than the rest of them. But Theo was the only boy, he is by far the biggest <laughs> of all of our dogs and the heaviest and the chunkiest. This is what he looks like, he's a big sausage. Theo, the way I would best describe him is he thinks that he is a Labrador or a Golden Retriever or some kind of dog like that in a little dog's body. <laughs> he does not act like a Maltese at all. He's basically the male version of Cena. He's greedy, <laughs> he loves rolling around in things, he loves going for walks, he loves being off lead, he just loves being a dog and he is not the kind of dog that you would pick up and put in a handbag, definitely not. Theo also is so good natured, he has such a lovely temperament. He is quite good at agility too, which surprised me because I, I didn't actually think he was that smart, <laughs> but he is. He's just such a little teddy bear, that's what he's like. Albie's like the prissy boy and Theo is like the teddy bear boy. And Theo of course is two. They're, the puppies are all the same age as Amelia because they were born the same year. So Theo is two along with all of the others and you always know him because he has a light blue bow. The next dog is poor old Nevaeh <laughs> who is freaking out right now. Nevaeh is our little, I don't want to say black sheep because that's not really fair, but she is our bundle of issues and emotions. I just think that she gets overlooked a lot because her personality is just not as strong as the rest of them and while that's sad she does get her fair share of attention because she and Jonathan actually bond really well. She's very very like Albie in a lot of ways but she has similarities to her mom as well so facially I think she's probably the prettiest dog that we own. Let me show your face. Everybody says it like when when they see her, when, like, when other people come to the house and they look at her face, they're like, oh, she's so pretty. That's what everybody says about her. She always has the pink bow and that's how you can tell her apart from the others. But yeah, she has Albie's face, like that really perfect little pedigree, like kennel club Maltese face she has. And, um, but she has longer legs and a longer body like Sina. So she's afraid of her own shadow. She gets a fright if you call her name. She has been known to pee herself on many occasions and she doesn't do it as much anymore, but she will do this thing where you call her name when you're like, Nevaeh, Nevaeh, Nevaeh. And she rolls over. She's very submissive. She's definitely a follower of the group. She's not a leader. She's kind of, latches on to other dogs like so she'll bond with, really well with Theo and she'll kind of follow him around or she'll obsess over Albie and follow him all day. She's pretty. You're just all beauty and no brains. That's basically it, isn't it? <laughs> so cute. 
I saved these two psychopaths for last <laughs> because they probably have the bigger personalities, well at least one of them does, of the entire group. So first off, we have Bianca and she is the puppy with the biggest personality. Everybody knows Bianca, everybody loves Bianca and she is probably our sassiest dog. She has the most sass, the most personality, she barks the loudest, she makes herself heard. She is the alpha female of the group. She even, like, Albie's the alpha male, he marks things, like he marks his territory, and sh so does she, even though she's a girl. She humps other dogs, like, she is just the alpha, you know what, of the group. So she always has a red bow. Honestly, she is probably and this is really unfair to say, but I can't help myself. She's probably my favorite of seeing us puppies and you didn't hear that in newbies or anybody else. But she just bonds with me the best. Like her and, yes, newbies, you do too. I would say Bianca and Sina probably bond with me the most, as in they will come to me over Jonathan. Definitely Bianca just like claims me like she's like my shadow follows me everywhere wants to be involved in everything she's probably the most intelligent of all of our dogs probably her and actually Albie but she is so alert she knows whatever's going on she you can tell by her face she's just got an intelligent face she is one of the smallest so her and newbies are the two tiny ones they can be picked up put into your handbag and they would not care like Bianca just wants to be held all day long She's like Albie that way. She is such a spoiled little princess, such a spoiled brat, and she loves it. Then there's Newbies. This is Princess Newbies. We call her Princess Newbies. She's got the little yellow bow. She's the tiniest and skinniest of the group, and she has a little pink waterline, like under here is pink in her eye. She's probably everybody that comes to our house's favorite because she's teeny tiny. She's like a little princess, and you would think that she's a really sweet dog, and she is, but she is vicious when it comes to Bianca. She and Bianca have, they love each other because they, they have probably a really close sisterly bond, and I catch them grooming each other, but they're also insanely jealous of each other. They crack me up. Like, they could have a proper fight where, like, hair is flying, and then next minute they're grooming each other. They're just insane. And they're also inseparable. They need to do everything together and they get so jealous. So that's why I had to bring them both up together. We call Nuvies Princess Nuvies because she is a very prissy little princess. She doesn't like getting her paws wet. Neither does Bianca really, but Nuvies is more so like that. And in the mornings when I let them all out to pee, Nuvies is the only one that won't go out, refuses to go out. Even if there's like a drop of moisture on the grass, she just refuses to go out. So I have to push her out the door. So those are all of my little furry babies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different. Uh, these two are like set for life now. They think this is it. They think that they're allowed up here all the time now and they love it. If you could see Bianca's face, she's like, I knew this was gonna happen someday. <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> I own this place. Let me know who your favorite doggy is. I want to know why as well, so give me a reason why. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.